This is the answer key for combining ions and naming compounds. The top part is to make formulas from these specific ions. Recall that the method for writing, writing the correct formula is to crisscross the ion charges, and if the subscripts can be reduced, go ahead and reduce them. So Ca plus 2, O minus 2, the 2 on the O would go on the bottom of the Ca, 2 on the Ca would go on the bottom of O, uh, both subscripts are 2, so they can reduce down, CaO, plus 2 minus 2 cancel. Al O. 2 on the O goes on the AL, 3 on the AL goes on the O. KO, the 1 on the K goes on the O, we don't need to write it, 2 on the O goes on the K. Next column, CANO3, the 2 on the NO3, or excuse me, the 2 on the CA goes on the back side of the NO3, but you need to write parentheses then. The 1 on the NO3 goes on the CA. We don't need to write that. ALNO3. 3 from the AL. It's on the back side of the NO3. The 1 from the NO3 goes on the AL. We do not need to write that. And then lastly, KNO3. Plus 1, minus 1. Both charges cancel. Phosphate ion with calcium ion. Ca plus 2, PO4 minus 3. The 2 on the Ca goes on the PO4. We need parentheses around that polyatomic ion. 3 goes on to the Ca. Al plus 3, PO4 minus 3 cancels. So we can just write AlPO4. And then the potassium plus 1, PO4 minus 3. The 1 goes on the back end of phosphate. We don't need to write that. The 3 goes on the K. Part two, naming compounds. We have to decide if we have an ionic or a covalent compound. Please recall that a metal stuck to a non-metal or a metal stuck to a polyatomic ion would be ionic. The other way that we can do that is if there are three or more atoms equals ionic. Non-metal stuck to a non-metal equals covalent. So uh, gallium is left of the stair step line. That makes this ionic because it's a metal stuck to a non-metal. Three or more atoms makes this ionic. Silver is left of the stairs, so that's a metal to a non-metal. It makes this ionic. Aluminum is left of the stairs. That makes it a metal. That makes this ionic. Strontium is a metal. Three or more atoms, ionic. Uh, carbon's a non-metal, which makes this one covalent. Calcium, carbon, oxygen, three or more atoms, ionic. Silver's a metal, ionic. Krypton is a non-metal which makes this one covalent. Nitrogen is a non-metal, makes this covalent. The next column, barium is a metal, ionic. Magnesium is a metal, ionic. Lithium, oxygen, hydrogen, three atoms, ionic. Aluminum is a metal, ionic. Zinc is a metal, three or more atoms, ionic. Sulfur is a non-metal, makes this covalent. Sodium is a metal, plus there's chromium and oxygen, makes three or more atoms, has to be ionic. Sulfur um, and oxygen, non-metal to non-metal, covalent. Potassium is a metal, plus there's four total atoms, makes this ionic. And then phosphorus is a non-metal, which makes this covalent. For naming of these, uh, recall that ionic, you just name the two ions. So GA, since it's a metal, it gets its full name, gallium. CL, since it's an anion, it's called chloride.
Magnesium is going to get the full name. HCO3 is called bicarbonate. Silver, since it's a metal, gets its full name. O gets the anion style name, ox IDE ending. Al is aluminum. PO4 is called phosphate. Asar is a metal, gets its full name. Strontium. So four is sulfate. We're going to skip the covalence until the end. Calcium, full name. CO3 is called carbonate. AG, we've already used, silver. S gets the anion style name, sulfide. Skip the last two covalent for right now. <clears throat> BA, full name, barium. I gets the anion style name, iodide. MG, full name, magnesium. NO3 is called nitrate. LI, lithium. OH is called hydroxide. AL is aluminum. BR would be bromide. ZN gets the full name, zinc. NO2 is called nitrite. Skip the covalent, ionic, sodium. CRO4 is called chrome 8. Covalent, ionic, potassium, K. Bicarbonate. On these names, it's important to recognize that uh, you have to find the cation and the anion. Uh, cation is basically always going to be the first symbol, and then the anion will be the elements after that symbol. I have these all memorized, so I can just write them down. If you don't have these memorized, you'll need to look up the cation on the left side of your periodic table. Cations on the left of the formula, and on the left side of your resource. Then look up the anions name on the right hand side of your periodic table likewise anions on the right of a formula they should be on the right hand side of your resource going back to the covalent compounds these require prefixes which is why we didn't answer them all together using different rules break them apart so you don't accidentally over apply a rule so prefixes are only needed um, if the Subscript is two or greater um, on the first atom and always on the second atom. So since it's a subscript one, we just call it carbon. The second particle gets the anion style name with a prefix. So prefix for two is dioxide. Kr, krypton. No prefixed. Di fluoride. Here we have a prefix, di nitrogen, and then we're going to use the prefix mono, but we're going to cut off the double O to make it monoxide. <laughs> On the right hand side, no prefix, sulfur, and then the prefix for six is hexa. Hexafluoride. Sulfur. Tri, prefix for three, oxide. 
And then lastly, di for two phosphorus tri oxide.